Hello, everybody. Let's try this again. <laughs> Round two. Can wait first? Can everyone hear <laughs> <Yes>. us? Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate question. Can everybody hear us? <laughs> As we wait, we need someone to respond on Twitch. Rapidly. We're super <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are we? I am Ian. I am the community manager on Triad Wars. Steve, uh, designer on Triad Wars. And I'm Renee, I'm the project coordinator here at United Front Games. Uh, thank you so much for joining us in this round two. I know you guys couldn't <laughs> hear us before, but I think you guys can hear us now, so we're all good. And uh, we're here with another Triad Wars live stream, so welcome. We know that we're probably going to have a lot of new people uh, because we're doing something a little bit different today. We are being broadcast on NVIDIA's channel as well as our own, so big thank you to NVIDIA for hosting us. And uh, we are very excited, and we're welcome to all you new viewers who have never seen us before and have no idea what's happening right now. Yes, hello and welcome. To we're continuing the adventures of Pork Bunman. Yes, that's that's, that's basically all it needs to be. That's all know. you need to know. <laughs> yeah, join the triad of Pork Bunman. That's right. But uh, for those of you who maybe don't know us as a whole, uh, we are from United Front Games, which is a studio here in beautiful Vancouver, Canada. Uh, you might know Ooh. us from games like. Sleeping Dogs, Mod Nation Racers, Little Big Planet Parting. Uh, we worked on Tomb Raider, and uh, yeah, just Bunch of stuff. all over the place uh, yeah. as far as games go. I've got our hands in all sorts of different pots, and most recently, uh, we are here with Triad Wars, Triad which Wars. is what we want to show you guys today. So, so you guys are probably asking, what is Triad Wars? Some of you may know. Your our regulars probably have a good idea. But Triad Wars is, uh, it's not a sequel, it's not really a prequel. But not a prequel, not a sequel. It's an open world action game that takes place in the same universe as Sleeping Dogs. So yes. if you're familiar with Sleeping Dogs, you're going to see it's, a lot of it's familiar the faces. The universe of Sleeping Dogs pre-Sleeping Dogs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when every, before Wei Shen shows up to straighten everyone out. This it's, is kind it's of the chaos the... that happens. It's the, it's that, uh, it's what causes Wei to have to come to Hong Kong. Yeah, all of this shenanigans that you're causing right. in game. That's what... That's yeah. what brings out big dogs. <laughs> the sleeping dogs, That's one right. might say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so essentially the game is a open world action game. It's the same great action that you guys have experienced in Sleeping Dogs if you've played Sleeping Dogs. Plus some. Plus some. Mm -hmm. Plus some. And uh, what we've done is we've sort of taken that action and we've slotted it into a whole new style of gameplay. Um, it's all about building your turf, raiding opponents, and uh, working your way up the triad to become Dragonhead. Yeah, exactly. Getting That's what we're revenge. doing. We're on the way. We're on the way there. We're actually a white uh, white paper fan right now, so mm -hmm. we're halfway along. Yeah. <laughs> so you start out the game as a young up and coming enforcer. Yep. And you're just you sort of tell the story with your actions, and you yeah you rise to the top yeah. of the Hong Kong underworld. Your uncle brings you in. Brings oh, good you old, into good the underground. Good old Uncle David. Yeah. Good old Uncle David. Good old Uncle David. <laughs> with Unfortunately, all the helpful he's advice. not the. The sharpest <laughs> knife in the fan in the drawer. You know, he's a bit of a black sheep in the family, but that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. We all love. We all have one of those. We're the underdogs here. We all here. have one of those. Yeah. <laughs> so Triad Wars is currently in beta, and if you guys want to participate in the beta, you can sign up and uh, yeah. Yeah, go join download us. it now. So and we've Triad had Wars. Get in there with Pork Bunman, yeah. and you can join the party. Download the game, and uh, many of you have already been playing for quite some time, so uh, thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting us and giving lots of good feedback. Yeah. That's uh, kind of part of the reason that we do these streams. We, On one hand, we want to show you guys the game and what we've been working on week after week, uh, but also it's a good chance for you guys to chat with us and uh, let us know your ideas, your thoughts. Um, we've gotten actually a lot of good ideas that have been implemented in the game just from sure. suggestions from viewers like you guys. So definitely ask us questions. We'll be, we've got chat right in front of us. And uh, so hello to all of you in chat and uh, we'll be answering and your questions. And for anyone wondering where James is today, he's on chat. Answering yeah. So. Questions. So James <laughs> is another yeah. one of our designers. Yes, yeah. James is usually usually it's it's we, one. We of decided us that having having James and Ian heckle me at the same time <laughs> while we're playing the game was just just not fair. No, I think I might so be even the meanest. That's true. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. I'll be nicer I think to you. You'll try, but I don't. Th I don't think you can come through. At the end of the day, you're going to be nice. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, let's, let's get into, into the, the game. game. Let's get in there. Da, All right. Da, da. So this is Pork Bunman. This is Pork Bunman and Pork Bunman's turf. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bunman. That's right. Uh, if you don't know him personally. Mr. Bunman. That's yeah. right. That would be the proper Porky way to address him. Porky to his really close buddies, though. <laughs> Porky, really? <laughs> 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 All 
Uh, We're gonna do some. I'm gonna do a, a couple of quick uh, maintenance tasks. What here. are you? What are you wearing, Steve? I'm, uh, I'm wearing my sweet new uh, Nvidia T-shirt. That's pretty awesome. Can we get a slow, a slow rotation slow of rotation. this? Here we go. Turntable style. Looks <laughs> awesome. Covered in blood. Covered in blood. I, as yeah. it even has got to be. covered yeah. in blood yeah. and yeah. with matching pants. Nice. This Let's, isn't. This isn't just. You don't just step out of the closet in the morning looking like this. No, 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 <laughs> this no. Is, this is assembled with thought. Your glasses yeah, match glasses, your pants? Glasses, it's gold. We've got the green pants to go with oh, the yeah. shirt. And then my favorite, the fancy shoes. Oh, yes. I know we can't see it too closely here. You know what? We'll do a, we'll do, we can see a better job here. There you go. There fancy you go. leather shoes. It's like nacho. He's got like a bit of nacho going. It's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So uh, what can we, where can people get these these t-shirts? Is yeah, this an exclusive thing? What's yeah, this going is on? an exclusive thing uh, as part of our partnership with NVIDIA. We've created this asset in game. So if you want to get your NVIDIA t-shirt, you can do that. Uh, there's a link, which is, should be in the, in the description in the description of our chat channel. Go. Down below. Um, for those of you watching on the NVIDIA stream, we've got mods there who will hopefully post the link for you guys. Yep. Um, I think I Eternal Smelter just posted uh, the link there. So there we go. Thanks, awesome. thanks, buddy. Some help. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so definitely collect that. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of Halloween themed, kind of got the creepy, the blood soaked factor yeah. going on. I mean, yeah. most enforcers are blood soaked at the best of times. So uh, just kind of goes with the job. <laughs> okay, so why don't you tell people what you're doing here in your turf? Sure. I, so I've just logged in and uh, we're doing some cleanup because Pork Bunman, we got to collect uh, some cash and some goods from our different illicit rackets in our turf. So here we're going to be collecting, uh, looks like some knockoff electronics. Mm -hmm. And it looks like I'm actually getting full. Our, war our warehouse has actually been getting a bit crammed lately because we've been uh, neglecting our exports with pork bunmen. But that's, that's all right. We'll do a couple of those today. So to free up some space. For those of our audience who have maybe never seen Triad Wars before, what, how is this important? How does this factor into your data gameplay? Yeah, so part of rising up through the triad is business. The triads are there not for fun and games, but mm -hmm. to make money ultimately. Oh, yeah. So the, the whole thing is based off of your turf here. And this is what we're in. We're inside of my turf. If we come here to our turf manager, we can have a quick look and see that aside from our safe house, which is like where I, me and my gang can chill and where I'm going to be soon going out to raid other people and challenging other enforcers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made up of, well, let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five rackets. Each of these rackets does a different thing. It either builds money or it builds a type of good. And each one of those goods can then be stored up in your warehouse and then shipped out, out of Hong Kong to make lots and lots of money and earn lots of face because not only do you need to be rich, but you need to have standing in Hong Kong in order to move your way up the triads. Mm -hmm. So exports is essentially the best way to go about doing that. Um, and that's what we, I said, we, Pork Bunman's kind of been neglecting the last while, but Well, that's he's right. a busy man. He is a busy guy. He's a busy Bunman. He is a, he's a busy <laughs> Bunman. That's As true. his mother used yeah, to call him that's when he true. was younger. Yeah. <laughs> so. Now, other thing, I just want to make sure that our uh, loadout is ready before we go into the world because, well, again, we've been lacking doing that at least the last time and it caused some problems for me personally. But it looks <laughs> like we're good. We've got... Uh, five upgrades, so for anyone who's new and hasn't seen this before, uh, we can uh, assign different upgrades to Pork Bunman, and they unlock with each rank that I move up in the triad. And then I've also got a loadout of three different weapons. I can hold a melee weapon, a single-handed weapon, and a double-handed weapon. I only have a, a melee weapon and a single-handed weapon, but it is an awesome uh, single-handed weapon for anyone who missed out on last stream. Pork Bunman completed the last Halloween challenge and we got the Resolver Pistol, which is like an uber powerful uh, revolver that, well, we'll just show you we'll what show it does you. soon, but it's fun. <laughs> and even though doing? actually, I, I'm actually a level 12 uh, enforcer right now. This is only a level 11 pist or gun and uh, I'm going to hang on to that because, well, it's just it's, too awesome. To it's get so it's so one. It's awesome, but two, it is actually more powerful than most level twelve guns, anyways, because it's an epic gun. For the longest so. time, I would hear you say "revolver" without knowing the context, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Does Steve know how to say revolver?" <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I that's shot how him little, with my that's revolver. That's how little Renee thinks of me. So that, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Steve. That's, fair. Oh. that's okay. Well, well sorry. once we get into the gameplay, we'll see why she thinks so little of you. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, for those of you who maybe haven't joined us in past weeks. Uh, we have no idea how this started. We definitely didn't propagate this. No, at all. not at all. No, but this wasn't James at all. There seems to be a bit of a drinking game uh, <laughs> of whatever beverage you choose. Of, uh, apple juice. I apple like juice. apple juice. Yeah, personally. that's our personal favorite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Every time Steve dies, while well, playing drink. the game. Well, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, if, he if, dies you're, for real. if you're thirsty, <laughs> you're out of luck. Because yeah. it, oh, yeah. it ain't gonna out of luck. It ain't uh -huh. gonna be happening today. I tell you. Okay, oh. well, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, take I'm us gonna away. take on my first guy. He's a level Last 12. This should be all right. This should yeah. be all right. Yeah, you should be able to manage this. You know. And for anyone who's new, uh, this is the map of Hong Kong, and I'll just zoom out here so we can get an idea. Um, we still have a bunch of Hong Kong locked away, which is this whole darker area here. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have some exciting new plans on when that stuff's going to be unlocking. Oh, really? really? Um, so stay tuned for more info around that. But uh, right now, the beta exists in North Point, which is uh, this lit up area. And we've got about seven other opponents, uh, rivals on the map right now. And we've got a whole bunch of open world contact content in the form of operations, exports, and rival contacts, and we'll probably tackle a few of those today too. Cool. All right, Let's do I'm it. getting into it. All right, we've already got people Don't taking bets. Don't distract me. I'm in the zone. Already people taking bets. Yeah, we got bets. What's the consensus? I've, heard, I've seen three. I've do seen I get a four. Cut of this? I, no, I think I should be able to shave a cut out of this. <laughs> I, I think that's totally unethical. There's because then you no just way. throw. There's you, a, you, you, no, no. Uh, I'm saying either way, either way, it doesn't matter. I don't no get to know ahead of time where the bets are. No cheating. But I get some kind of purse for this. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I feel like, but then if I'm you gonna get, make sure I'm represented somehow. If you get some kind of purse, though, you could totally just skew the results. Not if I don't pleasing. know. Not if I don't know what 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 what's coming. How I just want this? something. Yes. I don't That's care what it is. Don't die. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I yeah. See. There you go. That, that Try, be your bet will be zero. Right, your yeah. bet Fine. will always be zero. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. We're gonna start it A off. A dramatic oh, start to yeah. the end for sure. <laughs> They're like, no, none of this. Absolutely, I don't want any of this. Oh. Uh, what happened uh, to that he guy's thinks head? He, he thinks that you can't see him. This is cute. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Shh, Oh, he moves. Sh oh, gosh. Well, there he goes. He's oh, having oh. some trouble with oh, no. he Fear uh, does strange things, apparently. His body's on fire. Well, That's yeah, horrific. It blew a car up next to him. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, happy Halloween. Happy <laughs> Halloween. Actually, Halloween challenges. Let's talk about that while I'm... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh we're good. We're that's good. A, that's a pretty oh, cool this screen guy, name. This guy's got ground and pound. He's, he's got the uh, new oh, ground and pound So what is this screen? So Steve. this screen, the, the raid start screen. Whenever you raid another opponent, another player, that could be an AI opponent or a real player, another player in the world somewhere who's leveled their characters up, and their AI, the AI is going to represent them in this uh, raid. Um, this shows you what they've got equipped, what weapons they got equipped, what upgrades they got equipped, any special raid favors that they've played. Uh, Things like that. So you can see this guy here's got uh, pistols, crowbars, shotguns, and a series of five different upgrades. Um, and I have the same thing, five different upgrades, but only two weapons. If I wanted to, I could also go to my favorite browser, which I'm going to do, and turn on extra buffs like infinite ammo for 30 minutes, which would be just great with my resolver. And you know what? I don't think I need the extra time. No, you're not no, doing wow. it. No, I'm okay. good. Let's Showing off for all do. the yeah. new people That's here, right. I yeah. see, Steve. <laughs> I think we're fine. <laughs> I hope it fares well for you. <laughs> you don't. You're a liar. I wish you all the luck. Yeah, uh -huh. you're a liar. I'm kind of on the audience's side. I kind of want them to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> is, but is it more fun to watch the or have them watch Steve succeed or fail? Oh, you know the answer to that. Yes, I do. Yeah, we all know the answer to that. So a couple questions that I've seen that I want to quickly address. We have a couple of people asking about the screenshot contest yeah. and the results of that. So uh, we do have a weekly screenshot contest using the screenshot tool in the game. Uh, we ask people to send us uh, their best screenshots based on uh, a theme for the week. Uh, this past week's theme was hashtag bloody. Not one of our more <laughs> subtle ideas. I'm gonna guess that James <laughs> came up well. with that, that one. That was definitely James. That was a James sure. special. I was. Sure. I, I leave the stream for one week and I come back and everything's covered in blood. <laughs> Anyways, we had some great we submissions. We did. And uh, we're gonna get to those a little bit later on the stream because we just had some things that we wanted to show off first. So um, yeah, we'll we'll definitely get to that. So don't worry about that at all. <laughs> all right, how's it going? We're, we're muscles, starting all right. Steve. We're starting Use all right. The muscles. It's that shirt. Shirt just like lended you some power, the G Force power. Ooh, there's some blood for you. Oh, I was out of am, or I mean, I was out of my clip. I needed to reload. Yeah, it was a bad time to reload. Just yeah. throwing that out there. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh. oh, you looked for a second like you were gonna leave him alone. Nah, like you're nah, like, nah. no, pow! 
<laughs> and just got him. I really like, love the telescope. Wow. I think it's that's pretty one great. Of my favorite. It's pretty great. The whole like pull it out, whip yeah. it in, expand wow. it. Oh, that guy. Oh, he was just confused at the end. He had no idea what was even <laughs> happening to him. That's horrific. That's, that's how go. the enforcers do, though. Oh, that guy's calling for. Uh, oh, no, 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 oh no, 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 no. Oh, why did I tell him? Yeah, no, I I'm saw being, that one. I'm being too supportive. Yeah. So, for those who haven't maybe done a raid ever before, uh, there's always some guy somewhere in the turf who's, the moment he sees you, he's going to start calling for help and for backup. And uh, once that happens, uh, you're pretty much. Well, pretty there's much a lot of dudes who up, and it really makes it a problem. It makes life really, really hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's I don't think down. Actually, that's something that we're going to be turning into a favor soon, to be oh, honest. Awesome. So that you can play it as a defensive favor for your own turf that's super um, and cool. know exactly when you want to use it. So uh, we had an interesting question that I actually thought, uh, slash question slash uh, suggestion, mm -hmm. uh, that I thought was really interesting. Um, but someone asked, uh, would it be possible to have a situation where you can test your own turf? and try to raid your own turf to see how hard it is for other people. That is something. Yeah, that's actually that something we've talked about before. Is it? About. Yeah, yeah. It's a very cool idea. The implement it is... Well, it's just priority at this point. Uh, we're right. trying to get in. So for anyone, again, new players, uh, you know, we recently did the uh, Enforcer Evolution update, which kind of changed the way the game works with the new system of uh, level weapons and upgrades and everything else. And now we're busy trying to get more awesome content in balancing that system out to make sure that, that it works like we intend it to work. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a few things like that. Uh, we're also putting in some new surprises for characters, or I mean, sorry, for fans of Sleeping Dogs. We've got some uh, Sleeping Dogs characters making a return to Hong Kong in Triad Wars. I'm so excited. So a whole bunch of cool things going on, and it's just a matter of prioritizing those things and having enough time to get to it. So hopefully everyone will be patient with us and we'll get to all these good things eventually. Yeah, so uh, yeah. once again, you guys are totally psychic and predicting things yeah. that we, we want the same things. We all want the same things That's here. true. We all oh. have the same sort of direction in mind yeah. for the game. We all, we all know what's fun, so uh, that's what we're always aiming towards. Here we go. And we've been really busy with all the Halloween stuff too. So um, we had yeah. some someone ask uh, about uh, the oh Halloween dear. challenge that's coming up, which we won't be showing in this stream, just to answer one person's question. Uh, we'll be previewing that next week, I believe. Next week. Well, we won't be previewing it next week. I guess we'll be right in the thick of it next week. We'll be right in the thick of it, but we'll probably... Yeah, we'll be doing it. Yeah. We'll be doing it next week. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit longer than our usual challenges were this, uh, this month, so um, we'll definitely get to that, but that's next week. You'll have to stay tuned. I just love that guy. I know. I, I can't get enough of it. It's the just, Resolver it's just sad. The Resolver Revolver. It's such a... <laughs> it, is, it lives by its namesake, that's for sure. It stands up to its name. <laughs> it resolves. It situations resolves situations. Uh, our friend over at NVIDIA, Jared, yeah. says, I sometimes practice breaking into my own house and office just to make sure it's secure. <laughs> that's a great idea. That's a great that's idea. Right. That's genius. It's brilliant. Yeah. So we should do that all the time. That's yeah. what we should do to keep the studio secure. We should just get everyone to try to break the in at once. The spontaneous oh, break always in. breaking into we'll the studio. We'll just have siege day. Did you not know? <laughs> Is that, are you just scaling up the walls and you, that's yeah. how you get in? Well, we were wondering how you were getting in. Generally, helicopter through oh, the ceiling. Wow, through yeah. the skylight. Yeah, That's through the skylight. Really, yeah. Don't tell people that. They might, we might get helicopters skylighted. Well, Is you that, know. that was a Mission Impossible, right? Was that a thing in Mission Impossible? <laughs> I'm sure. Probably. How many have there been now? Four or like five? Like 12? 12. <laughs> the latest well. one, Mission Impossible 12. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the, uh, the oh. title of that one? Mission Impossible 12. Maybe this time it's impossible, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Maybe this time something's possible. <laughs> It's just called Mission Possible Mission One, Possible yeah. One. the first. <laughs> All right, how's it how's it going, Steve? We're checking in with you. All right, so far. Yeah. Yeah, I you almost I almost died once, but mm -hmm. I got back out of it using my combat meter, so we're all good. Unfortunately, these guys are all reinforcements, so just oh. and they're kind of wasting my time. I, I can't. Because, oh, time. Because you, you know what's going to happen is these guys are coming after me. I'm going to go into the next room. They're going to have weapons or something. I'm going to pull out my gun, and these guys are going to tackle me from behind. So I'm not going to take that risk. I'm playing it safe today. Oh, boring. <laughs> oh, that's probably not going to result in your death, though. Uh, I know. <laughs> wow. That's kind of the idea. <laughs> really? He's... That's how you're supposed to play video games? Wow, oh, weird. Weird. I mean, watching, watching you recently. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I said it wasn't going to be mean to uh, you. I know. The why, bullying. Why would you say that? The bullying's already started. <laughs> 
Uh, really promises I need my you. bone breaker upgrade. We talked about this last stream. You have it. You just I know, but I, I didn't equip it because you need do you know why? body armor. I know exactly. <laughs> it's, it's true. I'm ashamed. I, 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 I'm, I've opted for a bunch of defensive upgrades just to make sure that I save some face here. Yeah. And uh, when really what I should be doing is using some of those awesome offensive upgrades to. Best, they say best defense is a good offense, right? They do. But then those people kind of lose a lot. <laughs> do they? I don't know. I hope they do. Because oh. it's not what I'm doing right now. Man, they Why don't you give some you uh, people some tips about uh, these awesome combat moves you're doing? Do you want to walk people through it at all? Or sure, but... Are you just gritty? No, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. I'm focusing, man. I'm focusing. <laughs> you're doing well. You're doing really well, Steve. Well, I think... Like this. Possum. Ha! Nice. <laughs> He just kind of grazed the front of his forehead. Look, he was there. like all wonky after. He got like all rubber legged. <laughs> yes. Yeah, bam. Wow. So perhaps I can talk a little bit about the sure. combat sure, sure, for sure, those sure. who have never played Sleeping Dogs. Sure. So there's sort of, I guess, four sort of basic attacks that you combine in different ways. So you've got your light attack, which is just sort of a jab or a strike, and that's just a quick tap of the button. Um, you have your heavy attacks, which yep. is a sort of a click and hold. Uh, you have counterattacks, which is, you know... Well, before you get to that, actually, the, all of those combo together to make different yes. uh, combo setups. So you can do things like lights, you know, co combo light strikes and heavy strikes together to get different results um, and get enemies into different states and things like that. For sure. Our, one of our favorites is the venerable tap tap hold. Tap tap, tap, tap hold. hold. <laughs> that's, I want tap that's tap a hold. That, uh, so badly. That. Yeah, let's do it. Tap, tap. Oh, wait. Oh. Counter. No. Oh, this guy's not. Oh wait, he's got the. He's not cooperating. Don't try, don't try to grab. Oh. This is some close quarters fighting here. Yeah, this I know. is kind of dramatic. I really want to put my this guy's head into that. Oh. Oh, oh you stunned him. You stunned him. There we go. So the tap tap hold there gave uh, stunned that guy with the crowbar, which means I, which means I could take the crowbar away from him. But sorry, you were talking about uh, yeah, so counters. Light which strikes, is a huge heavy part strikes, of it. and then counters. Uh, when you've got guys coming to attack you, you oh. can do wicked awesome counter moves. Um, oh, you were running. You know what? I, I know I could have used that extra extra time oh, uh, favor now. The hubris. Yeah, oh, yeah that's I know. That? Oh. You know what? You're gonna have to run away. Oh. So okay. the other thing, aside from dying, that Steve is known for, for you uh, people <laughs> new to the stream, is running away. Yeah. He is an expert at running away. Believe it or not, uh, I think it was the Lord Kelvin in chat predicted it. Oh, so really? uh, yeah. Well, That's points good for job, uh, Lord Kelvin. Kelvin. I, you know what? You distracted me with talking about combat this, oh, combat that, oh, and I wasn't paying yeah. attention to the timer. Excuses, excuses. And now I don't have enough time to get there. And really, this is all your fault. Sounds mm. like a Steve problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going for it, though. Yeah. You have, this you is going to get yet. down to the wire. I'm yeah, but he's, he's just sort of. You know, oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, no, my gun. Your resolver. No, my gun. No fear. Man. What does this guy got? He's got like. <laughs> Not, he's got nothing. He's now. got a not resolver. That's what he's got. All oh right. gosh. Oh. Oh. It's one minute. One it's, minute. <laughs> you got him, Steve. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Double tap. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> run here, away. Here we go. I'm gonna run away. Uh, you left a message for people. But this is a viable strategy. It is. Oh, I took yeah. out. I, t I took out. You know what? I took out three of his rackets. If I'd done two more, I could have given more face out of this raid. Or if I'd taken out his uh, enforcer, I would have got more face out of his raid. Mm. But you know what? I'm, uh, I'll take coward, what I can yeah. get. No, no, we get it. I, I, you, you know don't what? Have to I don't mind us how cowardly you are. I don't think are. that's what it, you know. You, you <laughs> what is, what's the saying? You know. Oh, so so cool. Yeah, yeah. What is the saying? Something about living another to fight another day. You know. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying. Better part of valor. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but it is a viable strategy, and it is always better to run away than to fail. Yeah. So. Well, the other thing is, I could have let the time run Life out, lessons. and then the cops would have shown up, and then I would have to get rid of the cops. And then they would have tried to kill me and arrest me. They probably would have and then they would have taken some of my stuff. They would totally not have. Do you want to maybe talk about favors here? This yeah. seems like a good opportunity. So with every raid, every uh, every raid has uh, three main objectives in it. For every objective you complete, you get another. Uh, you get a free favor, and that favor's quality is is uh, relative to how much you do in the raid. So if you do an enforcer, you have a better chance of getting high level uh, stuff if you take out the enforcer. But we didn't. Um, but I can tell it's going to be a rare favor, so let's have a look. Da -da -da. Surprise switch. Oh, we already had surprise favorite. switch. It is one of my favorites. How could you tell that it was going to be rare? Because it was highlighted with blue. You could see. Do you want to talk about the different colors? Yeah, we've got. Uh, let's take a look at our favorites. So, for anyone who this is new to, 
we can take a look at, uh, we'll just look at weapons, for example. So anything in this, uh, well, how, what would you describe that color as, Renee? Red? Well, I would like describe it. Like a real color, it. not like a... I would describe it as bronze, bronze, because I can look at the whole color scheme go. and see that there is definitely a thing going the on. The bronzy, burgundy-ish color. How is that bronze? It's, it's, it's brownie. No. It's brown, it's bronzy. That slightly is, brown, as James likes to call it. <laughs> The slightly brown favor. It's the slightly brown color is our com is a common favor. So in this case, we're looking at a block nine, which is just a common block nine with no uh, perks on it. Um, if we were to check out the stats on this weapon, it'd be, you know, basic. Fairly um, middling. Then we've got rares, which are our blue favors. Uh, and th those are, you can see like this one's got a f uh, quick reload uh, perk because it's a fast mag block nine. Then we've got our gold, which is our rare favors. Um, so this one has two perks as opposed to one perk. And then the best is our epic stuff, which is purple. Sparkly and you can purple. See this thing has sparkly purple, not yeah. just regular purple, sparkly purple. Lens flaring. Sparkly purple. Lens yeah, flaring right. purple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so those are our four uh, levels of rarity for favors in the game. And everything that you get as a favor, whether it's weapons or upgrades or uh, raid favors or production favors, they all fall within one of those four rarity levels. So it looks like we way... finished a job along the way here. That's exciting. Let's collect some face. What's another way that people can get favors? Okay, so in your turf, you can hire racket bosses, to in, uh, racket bosses and staff members to increase the productivity of your turf. And one of the other big benefits of that is if you have a racket boss, he'll hook you up daily with a free favor. Awesome. So that's a cool way to do it. My car is toasted there. You I think that's because I blew it I up. I think it's because you, yeah. I vaguely remember an explosion. I do remember that. Yeah. You're, it probably concussed your head a little bit, so hey, you can't Oh, quite. this guy totally dodged me. Yeah, well, yeah, because you're not going to stop for that. In the have of that. The street. <laughs> I'll teach you there. <laughs> like, oh, God, there's a guy with a bloody shirt and a yeah. baton. <laughs> I'm going to take my van and go somewhere else. I better down and let him steal it. <laughs> Maybe he wants a ride to the supermarket. Oh, Sorry, no. I couldn't, that really I, couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Oh, uh, you know what? Then the guy's not there now. Yeah, now you intimidated, intimidated the parking lot the attendant. intimidated the parking lot. Uh, I'll take the bus. Take the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, bus driver. Excuse me, do you have the fare? Oh, wait, bus never driver, mind. man. <laughs> yeah, no, oh. they got the compass card there. Don't worry. Just trying it's to... Good. Oh, you actually got the guy in the van. Oh, yeah, because I flipped. That's I flipped how you do band. revenge, guys. That's right, yeah. <laughs> that's revenge done right. That's what you get for trying to dodge and not kill me. <laughs> if you want to make it as a dragon head, yeah. that's what you gotta. You should have just run you over. You should have. Yeah, looking back now. Oh, so actually, right up ahead here, you can see on our screen there's that uh, card, red card icon. Yep. So that looks like either an operation or a rival contact. I think it's a rival, a rival contact. Rival contact, yes. So that guy's right there, and we'll just mark him on our map. Oh, with the GPS. someone's asking. Yeah. Where you got your shirt. Might have just yeah. been joining us. But uh, we do have a giveaway that's going on right now. If you're just joining us and heard the whole spiel, uh, because we are being hosted on NVIDIA's stream, uh, we are giving away an exclusive item. It is the NVIDIA t-shirt, which Pork Bunman is so wonderfully modeling. And uh, we have a link down in the description. Some people have been putting it up in chat pretty regularly, too. Just go to that link. takes you to NVIDIA's site. And uh, get your uh, claim code. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. So you were saying before, we so rudely interrupted you. Well, I was saying oh, that, no, that's fine. No, I'm going to ambush oh, at, the ambush at the same time. time. <laughs> you see that guy like lurking up on you? He was like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> 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 it was amazing. The creepy enforcer? Oh, yeah. no. Okay, this is a problem. Is it? Yeah. You, you well, look you like better, you're bleeding You better run away. Oh my gosh. Get in your bus and run away. <laughs> okay. Oh, these guys are... Get in your escape bus. Oh man. I am totally getting in my skate bus. <laughs> That's, oh, jeez. This is the party bus. <laughs> Here we go. But you're leaving the party in this, in well, this situation. Well, at least you ran someone over on the way. Take oh. a couple of pot shots while we leave. <laughs> Take that, Ruthless. you bullies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to hang I out know. with the people. Still guys. being ambushed. That's my Oh, wait, that was just like a oh, guy on a bike. That was just a random. I totally thought that was the guy ambushing me. You know what? Who? Make I'm, an omelet. You know what? You exactly. Make a couple eggs. <laughs> That's right. See, look. That guy's a baddie. Is he? Are you yeah. sure? Oh, he, there we go. He's got the nice red Maybe he's just avenging his bike top. buddy well, that you, you know just what? took out. You don't have enough time to check these things. You just kind of like shoot exactly. everyone and, you know, sort it out later. Split decisions. Yeah. That's what being an enforcer is all about. <laughs> oh. All the police are on you. I got cop chase, I got ambush. This is going badly for Pork man. Fun Man. No, no. This is quite See, the day look at that. I took him out. 
I just need to get away from the cops. So, so how, just, how's, what's your strategy for getting away from the cops? So the, the best way, before? the best way to get away from it. So basically the cops, you want to just want to get out of their radius so that they can't find you. But a good way to help do that is to disable their vehicles. Um, you can do that a couple different ways. You can use a ramming attack uh, to spin out their cars. You can shoot out their tires like that. Um, or you can use an action hijack to switch between vehicles and throw them off. Awesome. Um, which I can't do because there's no cars in front of me, but that's right. There's a nice uh, little truck up ahead. We're going to go steal it. Yeah, I've got rid of the cops. Good. Oh. He's good. Yeah. He's fine. He's Ruin my fun. <laughs> so what about if I wanted to buy some favors? Yeah, I actually, that? I actually do want to do that because let's just check it out here. I'm actually towards the... I actually want to do this... It's generally better to do this towards the beginning of a, an XP level. So once you level up, it's a good idea to go and buy a level up pack at that point because you're going to get stuff um, higher than your level that you can kind of like grow into um, and you're going to get always you always get better quality stuff out of those those packs than you would otherwise well it's more efficient right like otherwise you're gonna have to grind through and play a bunch of raids and hope that you can find that stuff but it's kind of a guarantee that you're going to get good stuff out of these so you can go to the cool. store you go to the favorite oh, i'll just back it up i went a little quick <laughs> go to the store <laughs> uh, then you can go to the favor store and then we've got our three packs here. Um, we've got the raid pack, which is uh, consumable items, things that'll help you in the raid, like extra time, infinite ammo, um, uh, guys who come along in the raid with you to take out some additional uh, thugs in the raid. Uh, there's defensive stuff in there, like um, extra time, or adding time to other players who raid you. Uh, so this is really focused on the raid and making it so that it's temporarily easier or harder for other people to raid you. Um, we've got the production pack, which is great for giving you things like uh, bonuses on uh, if, um, how long it takes you to produce things in your own turf. Um, it gives you production bonuses so you do produce more. You can get things like shipments of goods for free and instantly. You can get insurance for your uh, racket so that other people raid you. You don't lose out on stuff. So there's a whole bunch of goodies there in terms of making money. And then the level up pack is full of upgrades, weapons, and XP boosters which should help you uh, level up along the way. Cool. Let's buy one of these. I've been uh, waiting to get one. Uh, I'm gonna, it's going to be sad to, to let go of my resolver, but I can always get another resolver at a higher level again. So, so we're uh, level 12 right now. I got a uh, level 11 pistol. I got two upgrades. I got a rare or an ultra rare upgrade. Uh, sweet. I got the bonus XP and a level 12 rare pistol. So nice. we can go and take a look and see how that stands up to our epic resolver. But my guess is that it's not gonna be quite as good because epics are usually good for one to two levels above the level that you get it at. Which means you get to hang on and have fun with them for a lot longer than you would any other weapon. Well, let's just take a look here. So we can see the uh, level 11 one uh, block nine that I just got does like a less 100 damage than the resolver. Check the uh, level and then 12 one. Ooh, the still. level 12 one, still. So we're going to hang on to this resolver for the time for being. For quite a long time, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Uh, and then I think I'm going to do... Which one should I switch out? Body armor. Body armor? Yeah. All right. It's a common It's a common. Yeah, it upgrade. is a common. That's true. It is a common. Hopefully I'll get a... I'm going to go with either surprise switch or... I want to move. I just caused that lets you uh, action hijack from farther distances uh, or bone breaker. Go right. bone breaker. Bone breaker? I say Absolutely bone breaker. Bone, bone breaker. breaker. There we go. We're on it. All right. Okay. Oh. Should we go raid someone else again? Sure. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Is there another bundle that maybe we talk about? The intro bundle? Ah, is it? I don't think it's in the game yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. oh, it is there. Yeah. So right we do there. have it in the game already. Sorry, I totally bypassed this thing. All good. Yeah. So <laughs> this is good for in any. Chat. This is good for players that, uh, for any new people watching today, this is a great pack for uh, if you just got into the game. It gives it's super good price. It's four ninety nine. It gives you a whole bunch of stuff. It gives you um, a whole bunch of XP boost favors. I think six, so that you can kind of like skyrocket through those early XP levels and get a big advantage on your enemies. Um, it gives you a whole bunch of refresh rival favors so that you can do a lot more raiding. Um, for those of you who don't know, that you, when we go to the map, you can uh, raid everybody uh, on your map once. And then once you do, that, that area of the map goes into cooldown while the cops are there. 
And then once the cops clear out the space, then someone else will take that uh, over that location. But refresh rival favors will reset everybody so you can just keep raiding and, and progressing faster and faster. So you bribe the cops to clear That's out. Right. Um, you get a sweet car, uh, the 600 Coupe S. Uh, it's a black version of the white one that we were driving around earlier. And I think you get some more stuff in there as well. Yeah, you do. You get an assortment of favors at uh, different oh, yeah, upgrades that's right. and weapons yeah. at different levels to help you. Yeah, you get you. Three, three upgrades and three weapons of uh, different levels so you can grow into those things. You don't have to chase them. Um, so it's, it's high value. And everything scales relative to your current level. So if you're like a level one character, Obviously, that's a good uh, choice, but if you're level five character, it's still a good choice because it scales appropriately. Um, obviously, once you get to the higher levels in the game, you're gonna have diminishing value out of that. Uh, but um, you know, there's always something to be had from it. So, and what's your personal strategy when it comes to your levels and buying packs? Because I always thought that was kind of interesting and maybe a, well, that, a good pro tip. Yeah, pro tip. Well, like I mentioned before, when you move into a new level, that's the best time to buy a new pack because you're gonna have the best chance to get things above your level or things that you can use um, and get the most out of right away. Because if you, like for example, if I got a level 12 weapon and I was at the beginning of the XP level, then obviously it's, it's good for a longer amount of time while I'm playing against other players at uh, level 12. But if I'm on the cusp of breaking through level 12 and I get level 12 weapon, obviously then I'm gonna get it for a short amount of time. Um, the other thing to note is that when you move from rank to rank, uh, opponents get harder so that's usually an extra special good time to level up is when you've just moved into a rank and just leveled up i'm just gonna grab myself a little uh, stack here so <laughs> don't mind me could it, could it possibly be a pork bun i hope so oh, we'll see. it looks like it's the, it could oh, be oh, no. roast, duck. roast duck i love duck oh, well. the duck is delicious okay so why don't we do another raid and show people All some right. more raiding action sounds good also, something that uh, some people have been mentioning, maybe we could touch on, the changes to matchmaking. Yeah, so we uh, just put in some new stuff, and, and we also got a, actually a patch coming in real soon. Hopefully tomorrow, I think, is when we're planning to drop the patch in, um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and there's a whole bunch of changes in matchmaking there, so that people should start getting match made uh, more often with other players uh, around their level. So if you're in a spot where you keep getting match made with players like four, five, six levels higher than you, um, that shouldn't happen uh, as much anymore, where you're, you're now gonna get uh, more other more players within your range. So that's a, that's a pretty big one. Cool. All right, who are we going after? You know what, I got this armored truck that's just like calling. Oh, say. you know what? Oh. I just lost him. Oh, well. well. All right, let's pick another, another <laughs> person to raid. And that poor woman too, you just took her out. Let's see. Sweet warrior. Who do we want to pick? Do you want to go easy or do you want to go hard? I think. No, I think I'm going to go easy. <laughs> well, all, right. all right, fine. I'll, all right. I'll go. Let's see here. Skeletron. Skeletron. Skeletron's got a sweet name. <laughs> just want to point that out. Very Halloween themed name. Yes, it is very Halloween yeah. themed. Well, I approve. Yeah, we don't have any Halloween challenges on right now, but. No. Well, there will be one starting tomorrow, there right? There will be, yes. yes. This is going to be our biggest and best one. It's the grand finale. It is. It is the grand it's finale. It's the return of uh, Revenge of Smiley Cat. Mm hmm. For anyone who doesn't know Smiley Cat. He's a character from the Sleeping Dogs universe. He was, he was basically, I think he was like a, a traitor to the uh, to a, the Sun on Year, one of the triads. And as a result, they like stabbed him like 42, 42 times. times? Yeah. And then they stuck him in a cat food processing machine. machine. And uh, so he's Smiley Cat. Mm. Bit of an ironic name. It is. It is. Demonic right. enforcer arisen from hell just yeah. for Halloween. So just to recap, if there are people who came late to the stream, what you're seeing right now is a game called Triad Wars. Triad Wars is a free-to-play open-world action game based in the universe of Sleeping Dogs. It's, uh, it takes place before uh, Wei Shen, before Wei Shen in Hong Kong. And uh, yeah, we are doing our usual stream today. Yep. Oh, we stream every Thursday at 2 p.m. Thanks for joining us, so guys. Thank you for joining us. And today we use that a bone breaker. Sorry. Special uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. partnership with uh, Nvidia, where they're hosting us in their Twitch stream, which is awesome to them. And we, in turn, are giving away a in-game T-shirt for yes, which Nvidia, which Pork you can Bunman see. Is Pork Bunman is wearing. Bunman's wearing. Yeah. Yep. Looks fantastic. How was this guy? Oh, this guy's got a result as well. Oh, oh resolver versus resolver. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about that. <laughs> they are potent. All right. 
Nope. Oh man, it's so brutal in slow motion. It's, it's so brutal. So brutal. Oh! oh. I didn't think I was gonna pull that off, actually. That was brutal. But. Oh man. I quite enjoy that you are bringing a gun to a fist fight outside there. Well, they gave me space, so I figured, you know, I'm gonna go jump and shooting. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Yeah, I got him first. He has the gun, but he, he has does the gun. not have a head. I don't he wanna. <laughs> That's right. Those things is very important, and yeah. is is definitely. I think both those things. Is very yeah. important given the context. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't want to jinx you, Steve. No, no, this is this but is I think, fine. I think you know what? I, to I totally forgot to play my uh, extra time card again. Yeah. For shame. So uh, I might not. I might not be able to do a full raid here. So as uh, Steve finishes up this raid, mm -hmm. we will just talk about a few things before we wrap up. Sure. I uh, just want to. Let everyone know that we are running another Halloween cha challenge, our last final penultimate Halloween channel yep. challenge. Uh, and it is Smiley Cat's Revenge, where you take on the demonic enforcer Smiley Cat. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you beat him enough times, you send him fleeing back to hell. Yep. And you can claim some epic loot for participating in the challenge. Uh, the challenge also adds some super cool Halloween ambience to the world yes, of Hong Kong. Yes, which you don't get to see in see uh, right now, what Steve's doing right now, but it looks awesome. For anyone who so so. maybe has seen our other streams, or you can go check them out on YouTube. We upload our streams to YouTube. Absolutely. Go check them out. They look pretty awesome. So and you'll be able to Or see get week. in the game and tomorrow you can play it yourself. Or that. Also this. Yeah. Sure. And uh, again, if you just go to triadwars.com, there's a big button that you can hit that says play now, and mm -hmm. you can sign up for the beta and start right away. Yeah. So we encourage everyone to go out and do that. Uh, yeah, join us. And uh, also, I just want to say, uh, we've had so many people joining us in chat. It's so much, in fact, that I'm having a hard time keeping up with all of your <laughs> awesome questions. Uh, we've got James, and we've got uh, our producer, Justin, who's in chat helping us out. Uh, but uh, we definitely didn't get to all of them. So if you still have some questions for us, you can hit us up on the Tread Wars forums. And yeah. uh, that's where you'll, you'll get a hold of this guy, <laughs> Ian. He's on there all the time. I'm on there all the time. And uh, yeah, so send us your, your comments, suggestions, questions that you have. Um, if we talked about anything that you'd like to hear us talk more about in future streams, uh, just let us know there. And yeah. uh, we'll and definitely help search you out. You could also hit us up on Twitter, just at Triad Wars on Twitter or mm -hmm. on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Triad Wars. Yeah, we are everywhere. All Always watching. Place. So, are we going to be able to do our screenshot contest? Yeah, let's just finish up this raid and then we'll show off our winners and talk about next week's. I guess we talk about next week's screenshot challenge now. We, we could. Wanted. We definitely could. So, uh, for those who are interested in participating in our screenshot challenge next week, shall we show them what they can win? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> T-shirt! Yeah, so Bam. this is the, the awesome Tried Wars t-shirt. Oh, we will uh, send the winner and... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Dirty tricks. I have no idea what you're talking about. I just, you haven't died yet. I just, you know, yeah, trying to help everyone out. People want you to die. I'm giving the people what they want. Yeah. Fox popular. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we have this fantastic uh, Triad Wars dragoned up t-shirt going on. So we will definitely send that to you. And uh, we also have a, a version in-game for your enforcer to wear. So uh, you can... Oh, we've lost control of our... Hmm? Justin. Oh, oh Justin. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> <laughs> he was just trying to knock oh, some time off of my raid. Oh, Justin. I know how that goes. Our producer yeah. is trying to... Uh, Shenanigans. Help Skeletron out. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we're just we're giving the people what they want. We are. We absolutely are. <laughs> Um, but we, yes, we also have uh, a copy of the, this shirt in game, in game for your enforcer so to wear. You can uh, yeah, jump with your enforcer, and if you ever see a t-shirt in game, you know that uh, that person has some that person six screenshot skills, six screenshot talents. And if you want to see past uh, winners, you can head to Instagram slash mm -hmm. Triad Wars and yeah, check out all the past winners and all other awesome. Get some Instagram inspiration. Oh, you see know what? what we what we look for. Composition is oh one. no. I just realized oh, that you just uh, ran out of your yeah infinite my infinite ammo, ammo favor oh. ran out. I wasn't paying attention. Clutch, you have to be. Oh, oh you're gonna get shot in the back. There's a guy right behind you. He's a oh. Oh, oh man. He had his moment. He didn't so take close. it. Whew. Hmm? And I and I used my uh, combat meter just in a uh, stressful <laughs> moment there. 
right. I got uh, eight bullets. People right. in chat are calling for you to run away like the coward that you are. Right. No way, I'm going into it. You're going into right, it? Guys, I'm going into it. Let's like collectively form like a prayer circle for Steve. <laughs> so like hold my hold my metaphorical hands and we'll we'll hope for, for something for Steve. Some for of something. you might be hoping for unfortunate catastrophic demise, but personally I'm cheering for you, Steve. Thank you, Renee. Cool. Yeah. That's so, uh, oh, yes. other thing we want to talk about briefly is, as another little Halloween special treat, we've mm -hmm. put uh, gold in our online store on sale. So, if you are interested in buying gold, now is the time to do it. It is nice and cheap. Um, also, during the challenge, starting tomorrow, we have uh, the level up pack, which uh, Steve showed you earlier with all the awesome favors in it, is actually going to be replaced with our Halloween loot bag. Yep which has some super awesome special stuff in it. Do you want to mention what is in that I don't know are you Steve's, too focused? It's, Steve's in like I, a whole I'm, other world right now. <laughs> I'm trying hear you grinding your not teeth. To, to die here. <laughs> believe in Steven. Believe in Steven. Aww. Yeah. That's Hashtag believe in Steven. That's adorable. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. <laughs> but, but the sentiment is weak. <laughs> I'm going to... Come on, Steve. Oh, you can do it. We you can no! We won't bug you. We won't bug you with oh, anything. He gave me the biggest sweep. So this week's Halloween loot bag is something a little bit special, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you talk about that. It, I is, will. it is awesome, though. <laughs> it is awesome. So we've had three previous Halloween challenges, each which came with a wicked awesome piece of Halloween loot in them. And uh, this week, you have a chance to get one of your, if you missed out on any of the previous challenges, mm -hmm. but you still want to get access to one of these awesome epic upgrades or weapons, you can actually buy them as part of this Halloween loot pack. Oh. So each pack will have a chance at a random favor. It's also awesome because if you're like us and you got the resolver at level 11, mm -hmm. but now you've leveled up, you might want to get a new resolver at a higher level. Um, so that's an, another awesome reason to Go and purchase that pack. It did definitely, for sure. I, I echo that sentiment. <laughs> but look at this. Look at Steve and this showdown. It is an epic showdown. Look at this. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh, Can I. Can you do it? Oh my god. No. Oh, no! Oh! I was trying to lure him to the wall. Oh my gosh. This is. Oh. oh Steve. Steve. Go. Come oh my god. Oh, you had to Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Amazing. gosh. Oh Whew. my gosh. All right. So just to clarify, I got sweaty hands. Every oh, pack, did it. every Halloween loot pack you, has a guaranteed ew. epic <laughs> yeah. in it. A guaranteed uh, uh, epic uh, item. It's either going to be um, like a epic clothing item or a weapon or an upgrade with a move. So uh, the types of things you've seen in the uh, Halloween challenges up till now. Cool. And that's our epic loot bag. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Ooh, Sorry, I'm, I'm like, I gotta catch my breath here. <laughs> you're like, yeah. you're like, oh man, you know what? You deserve to just have a moment yes. to just bask. <laughs> just bask in the favors and the face. And now I'm gonna take this guy's car. Ooh, that's a nice car. It is a very nice car. Excellent. Well done, well yeah, done Steve. Do. Hashtag believe in yeah, Steve. Yeah, celebration believe burnout. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Better than donut. Awesome. All right. So why don't we uh, show off last week's uh, screenshot. Screenshot challenge winners. So Heck we have yeah. uh, two runners. And, uh, and our winners. And our winner. Yep. <laughs> All right. So uh, if we, uh, so what was the what was the theme this week? Maybe the theme people... was uh, hashtag TW bloody. And bloody. The challenge was to come up with the bloodiest screenshot you could. It was. And we had some amazing entries. I was going through them <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh man, there. Some of them were just brutal. Some of them were really creative, also. Like I, you guys must like have artistic? spent like. Just like the blood must be everywhere, and it was yeah. in some situations. Creatively bloody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like you know, it takes a lot of effort to get that much blood <laughs> just everywhere all the Fair time. Enough. So uh, yeah, let's look. Let's at uh, look up at our uh, number three. So our number three uh, in uh, in tiny little text there, as you can see on the top, is Nick Canadian, and you might remember I picked this one kind of biased, but uh, Nick Canadian entered in in a previous. <laughs> oh, that's challenge. right. Hashtag TW secret where we asked you guys to find maybe some secret locations. And uh, I voted I voted for you in that last challenge, by the way, Nick. <laughs> I thought that one was fantastic. Steve was on your side for that one. I was one. all for you on that one. And uh, so, yeah, so now he has the follow-up to his secret spot that he found, 
with and an he, actual. He made it even bloodier. He made it even bloodier. There was yeah. already blood there, and he just, he, just made he it. expanded on it. He was. Nice. Yeah. It's good. It's, you're using the resources in front of him. Yeah. yeah so uh, awesome. thank you, Nick Canadian, for that submission. In so. second place, we've got. Da, 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 da. We've got uh, this guy here. Uh, we've got Zelkanon, who's actually in chat, I think. So oh. hello, Zelkanon. Hello, Zelkanon. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, this one was one of the ones where I was like, it's just, it's like a real horror movie. That actually, yeah, it looks like something. It's like horrific. A monster kind of crawled its way along the corner of the room or like, something. I had flashbacks yeah. to like The Shining, <laughs> like the hallway scene. I was like, oh my god, like I'm at work and it's daylight out, but I'm terrified. So uh, thank you to Zulkanan uh, for that submission. And our and first, first place goes to... This yes. <laughs> so this <laughs> Good is... Good use of the resolver. This is... Points uh, there. Michael Wu. Yeah. Michael Wu. Uh, my gosh. This one, there was actually some headshots that you did, Steve, that looked pretty yeah. pretty great. Pretty much just like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, yeah, we wanted to we wanted to say a little shout out to the, the headshot, the beautifully executed Good headshot. use of the resolver. Awesome. So thank you so thank much, you much, Michael Wu, for entering. So, yeah, message us at community at triadwars.com mm -hmm. with your mailing address and your t-shirt size, and we will... Send you your t-shirt we'll send you a t -shirt. straight away. And your digital t-shirt we'll as well. give you your digital t-shirt as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you everyone for your submissions. There were some amazing submissions this week. So thank you once again. So challenge next week. Yes. What is it going to be? What's it going to be? Well, what type of year is it? Hmm. <laughs> decorative pumpkin season? It is indeed decorative pumpkin season. Decorative gourd season? <laughs> so in the spirit of Halloween, we are going to make... Our challenge this week. Gourd. Uh, Do you decorate a gourd? That's what. Well, Wait, that's what a pumpkin is. It's yeah, a, I know, it's but a gourd. A squash, I know. not a gourd, yeah, isn't it? Like, what's the difference between a squash and a gourd? A squash. Okay, is Okay, we a gourd. don't have time for this conversation. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay. So, Halloween challenge. Come up with your best Halloween-themed screenshot in our game. We have a built-in screenshot tool. Um, so yeah. Maybe it's you in a costume, maybe it's you doing the Halloween challenge. Mm -hmm. Whatever speaks to you and says Halloween. Whatever's spooky, whatever says spooky in your heart. Yeah. That's what we want you to, to follow. It could be a gourd. It, it could be a gourd, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't gourd. know that we have yeah. gourds in our game, but... Would it be like a gourdle would lantern? A gourdle lantern. <laughs> could it be like a guy called gourd? <laughs> maybe. Could maybe be. your enforcer named gourd. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, you come up with whatever you think is the, speaks to Halloween the most to you. And we will uh, choose some winners and send you guys some t-shirts. So how to enter? Uh, take your screenshot, post it publicly on Twitter or Facebook using the hashtag TWHalloween. Mm -hmm. And we will look through all the entries and we will vote uh, internally on a winner. Yeah. And we will... Which means I'm just going to make all the decisions because I have all the power. <laughs> she does. Project That's coordinator. True. That's true. Pander. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just pander to Renee. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the easiest way to win. Yeah. All right. So well. that's it for us this week, but we are going to be back next week. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a very special stream next week. We're going to be talking about some super special features from NVIDIA. Yes. So right. we're very, very excited for we're next very week. Excited. Make sure you join us again. Make sure you come back. And, and we'll be joining in on the Smiley Cat Challenge as well. Yes. That we will. And we will be giving away... Some t-shirts. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Cool. Nice. All right, thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thank you, everybody, and thank you once again to NVIDIA. We're huge fans, so... Thank you, thank and you. goodbye. Thanks, See guys. And don't forget to go out and get your free t-shirt. Free t-shirt. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.
not only do you need to be rich, but you need to have standing in Hong Kong in order to move your way up the triads. Mm -hmm. So exports is essentially the best way to go about doing that. Um, and that's what we, I said, we Pork Bunman's kind of been neglecting the last while. but that, Well, that's he's a right. busy man. He is a busy guy. He's a busy Bunman. He is a, he's a busy <laughs> Bunman. That's As true. his mother used yeah, to call him that's when he true. was younger. Yeah. So, now, the other thing, I just want to make sure that our uh, loadout is ready before we go into the world because, well, again, we've been lacking doing that at least the last time and it caused some problems for me personally. But it looks <laughs> like we're good. We've got uh, five upgrades. So for anyone who's new and hasn't seen this before, uh, we can uh, assign different upgrades to Pork Bunman and they unlock with each rank that I move up in the triad. And then I've also got a loadout of three different weapons. I can hold a melee weapon, a single-handed weapon, and a double-handed weapon. I only have a, a melee weapon and a single-handed weapon, but it is an awesome uh, single-handed weapon for anyone who missed out on the last stream. Pork Bunman completed the last Halloween challenge and we got the Resolver Pistol, which is like an uber powerful uh, revolver that, well, we'll just show you we'll what show it does you. soon, but it's fun. <laughs> and even really though, actually, I, I'm actually a level 12 uh, enforcer right now, and this is only a level 11 piss or gun, and uh, I'm gonna hang on to that because, well, it's just it's, too awesome. It's, to get so, it's so, one, it's awesome, but two, it is actually more powerful than most level 12 guns anyways, because it's an epic gun. For the longest so. time, I would hear you say revolver without knowing the context. <laughs> and I'd be like, does Steve know how to say revolver? <laughs> like, I, I that's shot how him little, with my that's revolver. That's how little Renee thinks of me. So that, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Steve. That's, fair. Oh. that's okay. That's well, fine. once we get into the gameplay, we'll see why she thinks so little <laughs> of you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, for those of you. Cool. It's an open world action game that takes place in the same universe as Sleeping Dogs. So yes. if you're familiar with Sleeping Dogs, you're going to see it's, a lot of it's familiar the faces. The universe of Sleeping Dogs pre Sleeping Dogs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when every before Wei Shen shows up to straighten everyone out, this it's, is kind it's the of the chaos that happens. It's the it's that uh, it's what causes Wei to have to come to Hong Kong. Yeah, all of this shenanigans that you're causing right. in game. That's what. That's yeah. what brings out big dogs. <laughs> the sleeping dogs, the sleeping one might right. say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so essentially the game is a open world action game. It's the same great action that you guys have experienced in Sleeping Dogs if you've played Sleeping Dogs. Plus some. Plus some. Mm -hmm. Plus some. And uh, what we've done is we've sort of taken that action and we've slotted it into a whole new style of gameplay. Um, it's all about building your turf, raiding opponents, and working uh, your way up the triad to become Dragonhead. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. That's what we're revenge. doing. We're on the way. We're on the way there. We're actually a white uh, white paper fan right now, so mm -hmm. we're halfway along. <laughs> yeah. So you start out the game as a young up and coming enforcer. Yep. And you're just you sort of tell the story with your actions, and you yeah you rise to the top yeah. of the Hong Kong underworld. Your uncle brings you in. Brings oh, good you old, into good the old underground. Good old Uncle David. Yeah. Good old Uncle David. Good old Uncle David. <laughs> with all the helpful he's advice. Not the, the sharpest <laughs> knife in the fan in the drawer. You know, he's a bit of a black sheep in the family, but that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. We all love. We all have one of those. We're the underdogs here. We all here. have one of those. Yeah. <laughs> so Triad Wars is currently in beta, and if you guys want to participate in the beta, you can sign up and uh, yeah. Yeah, go join download us. it now. So and we've Triad had Wars. Get in there with Pork Bunman, yeah. and you can join the party. Download the game. And uh, many of you have already been playing for quite some time. So uh, thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting us and giving lots of good feedback. Yeah. That's uh, kind of part of the reason that we do these streams. We, On one hand, we want to show you guys the game and what we've been working on week after week. Uh, but also, it's a good chance for you guys to chat with us and uh, let us know your... So if you want to get your NVIDIA t-shirt, you can do that. Uh, there's a link which is, should be in the in the description in the description of our chat channel down below. Um, for those of you watching on the Nvidia stream, we've got mods there who will hopefully post the link for you guys. Yep. Um, I think I Eternal Smelter just posted uh, the link there. So there we go. Thanks, awesome. thanks, buddy. Some help. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so definitely collect that. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of Halloween themed, kind of got the creepy, the blood soaked factor yeah. going on. I mean, yeah. most enforcers are blood soaked at the best of times. So uh, just kind of goes with the job. <laughs> okay, so why don't you tell people what you're doing here in your turf? Sure, I, so I've just logged in and uh, we're doing some cleanup because Pork Bunman, we got to collect uh, some cash and some goods from our different illicit rackets in our turf. So here we're going to be collecting, uh, looks like some knockoff electronics. Mm -hmm. And it looks like I'm actually getting full. Our, where, our warehouse has actually been getting a bit crammed lately because we've been uh, neglecting our exports with Pork Bunman. But that's, that's all right. We'll do a couple of those today. 
So free up some space. For those of our audience who have maybe never seen Triad Wars before, what, how is this important? How does this factor into your data gameplay? Yeah, so part of rising up through the Triad is business. The Triads are there not for fun and games, but mm -mm. to make money ultimately. Oh, yeah. So the, the whole thing is based off of your turf here, and this is what we're in. We're inside of my turf. If we come here to our turf manager, we can have a quick look and see that aside from our safe house, which is like, but where me and my gang can chill and where I'm going to be soon going out to raid other people and challenging other enforcers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made up of, well, let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five rackets. Each of these rackets does a different thing. It either builds money or it builds a type of good. And each one of those goods can then be stored up in your warehouse and then shipped out, out of Hong Kong to make lots and lots of money and earn lots of face because Hello, everybody. Let's try this again. Round two. Can you, wait, first, can everyone can hear, hear us? us? Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate question. Can everybody hear us? <laughs> As we wait. We need someone to respond on Twitch. Rapidly. We're super <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> so, who are we? I am Ian. I am the community manager on Triad Wars. Steve, uh, designer on Triad Wars. And I'm Renee, I'm the project coordinator here at United Front Games. Uh, thank you so much for joining us in this round two. I know you guys couldn't <laughs> hear us before, but I think you guys can hear us now, so we're all good. And uh, we're here with another Triad Wars live stream, so welcome. We know that we're probably going to have a lot of new people uh, because we're doing something a little bit different today. We are being broadcast on NVIDIA's channel as well as our own, so big thank you to NVIDIA for hosting us. And uh, we are very excited, and we're welcome to all you new viewers who have never seen us before and have no idea what's happening right now. Yes, hello and welcome. To we're video. continuing the adventures of Pork Bunman. Yes, that's that's, that's all it needs to be. That's all know. you need to know. <laughs> yeah, join the triad of Pork Bunman. That's right. But uh, for those of you who maybe don't know us as a whole, uh, we are from United Front Games, which is a studio here in beautiful Vancouver, Canada. Uh, you might know Ooh. us from games like. Sleeping Dogs, Mod Nation Racers, Little Big Planet Parting. Uh, we worked on Tomb Raider, and uh, yeah, just Bunch of stuff. all over the place uh, yeah. as far as games go. Uh, we've got our hands in all sorts of different pots, and most recently, uh, we are here with Triad Wars, Triad Wars, which is what we want to show you guys today. So, so you guys are probably asking, what is Triad Wars? Some of you may know. Your our regulars probably have a good idea. But Triad Wars is, uh, it's not a sequel, it's not really a prequel. But not a prequel, not a sequel. Ideas, your thoughts. Um, we've gotten actually a lot of good ideas that have been implemented in the game just from sure. suggestions from viewers like you guys. So definitely ask us questions. We'll be, we've got chat right in front of us. And uh, so hello to all of you in chat and uh, we'll be answering and your questions. And for anyone wondering where James is today, he's on chat. Yeah. So. Questions. so James <laughs> is another yeah. one of our designers. Yes, yeah. James is usually usually it's it's we, one we of us. We decided that having having James and Ian heckle me at the same time <laughs> while we're playing the game was just just not fair. I don't know. I think I might so be even the meanest. Th that's true. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. I'll be nicer to you. You'll try, but I don't. Th I don't think you'd come through. At the end of the day, you're going to be nice. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, let's, let's get into, into the, the game. game. Let's get in there. Da -da -da. All right. So this is Pork Bunman. This is Pork Bunman and Pork Bunman's turf. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bunman. That's Mr. Right. Uh, if you don't know him personally. Mr. Bunman. That's yeah. right. That would be the proper Porky way to address him. Porky to his really him. close buddies. Though. <laughs> Porky, really? <laughs> uh, We're gonna do some. I'm gonna do a, a couple of quick uh, maintenance tasks. What yeah. are you? What are you wearing, Steve? I'm, uh, I'm what wearing is that? my sweet new uh, Nvidia T-shirt. That's yeah, pretty awesome. Can we get a slow, a slow rotation, slow rotation. of this? Here we go. Turntable style. Looks <laughs> awesome. Covered in blood. Covered in blood, I, as yeah. it even has got to be. Covered yeah. in blood and yeah. with matching pants. Nice. This Let's isn't this isn't just you don't just step out of the closet in the morning looking like this. No, 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 <laughs> no. This is this is assembled with thought. Your glasses yeah. match glasses, your pants. It's gold. We got the green pants to go with oh, the yeah. shirt. And then my favorite, the fancy shoes. Oh yes. I know we can't see it too closely here. You know what? We'll do a bit we'll do we can see a better job here. There you go. There Fancy you go. leather shoes. It's like Nacho. He's got like a bit of Nacho going. It's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So uh, what can we, where can people get these these t-shirts? Is yeah, this an exclusive thing? What's yeah, this going is on? an exclusive thing. Uh, as part of our partnership with NVIDIA, we've created this asset in-game. So 